So this year, we're actually giving a second People's Book Prize Best Achievement Award. It's going to be shared with another. Here are some of the comments that readers have put on our site about this book. This book examines old problems through a fresh lens and offers policy solutions that would make a more equitable world possible. Help to solve global economic inequality and environmental destruction. It makes so much sense. We cannot understand today's economic problems and their remedies unless we unmask rent. As statesmen struggle to understand why our world is locked in a profound crisis, the book explains that the solution to political paralysis requires a new form of governance. After a career in, as a Fleet Street investigative journalist, the author was a consultant to a number of academic and political bodies, subsequently turning his attention to the failure of economic analysis and public policies in the market economies. Here's the award that was hidden here, and here's the envelope that will tell you that the second People's Book Prize Best Achievement Award goes to Rent Unmasked by Fred Harrison, published by Shepherd Warwin Publishers Limited. Fred, come and receive your award. Congratulations. Thank you. First, may I endorse Tatiana's remark earlier this evening that every author here today is actually a winner. Books are a mark of civilization, and you've all contributed to the attempt to rescue a civilization that's actually in deadly trouble, right? Um, in my view, there is no way in which we can recover from the very rapid decline that we're actually observing almost on a daily basis, unless the politicians get round to understanding that we need new foundations for the economy on which to reconstruct our civilization. And that's what Rent and Mast is all about. And I'd like to thank my publisher, Anthony Werner, who's been publishing my book since the early 1980s. He's believed that ultimately, if sanity is to prevail, we need an ethical economics. And if you want to understand how to reconstruct a civilization that's in bad trouble, please visit the website of Shepherd Warwin and read the Ethical Economics Catalogue, and there you will find a richness that is nowhere available anywhere else. Uh, finally, um, this is a wonderful evening for me because my wife um, uh, was the very first one to achieve an honor for a prize for her first book, and uh, that was her first book quite recently, whereas I've been trying since the 1980s with no recognition. So finally, in, in, in the Harrison household, we now have equality. Thank you. Congratulations on winning the People's Book Prize Best Achievement Award. Um, what gave you the idea for your title? Well, Rent Unmasked. Uh, captures the um, essence of the problem that we're facing in the world today. There really is only one solution to rebasing the foundations of our civilization on uh, an economics of sanity. Uh, we've got to change the tax system and that's the one thing that politicians won't do and it's very difficult to get the public to understand how we need to change the tax system so that we can get rid of things like inequality, poverty, unaffordable housing, um, but the, uh, the politicians will not engage with this problem. Uh, that's why I call the book Rent Unmasked. We reveal in the book how if we really did seriously set about restructuring the way governments pay for public services, that's what we're unmasking, we would begin to abolish all the problems in our society. And what stimulated in you in the first place to think about writing this? Well, I belong to a tradition that goes back more than a hundred years, actually. 
The last time uh, this policy was promoted actively in politics was by Winston Churchill a hundred years ago. Uh, the proposal was actually part of the legislation in the Houses of Parliament, but the landlords managed to throttle the legislation, wouldn't allow it to be enacted. And since then, people like me have valiantly sought to uh, bring justice to our economic system. I'm just the latest guy fighting to bring that justice uh, for the people who need help. An interesting book to be published at this time of the year. It sure is. Absolutely. And have you got other books in the pipeline? There are plenty of books. It's an endless stream and frankly, uh, it's all ethical economics. And if you really, if anybody really wants to learn uh, about the ethics of economics, then they need to go to the website of my publisher, Shepard Walwyn. They have a catalogue, Ethical Economics, and that has a range of books that actually gets to the heart of the problems that have traumatised our society. It explains why people mindlessly go and destroy children uh, at a concert. That's the level of inter intervention that we need from the economists and the politicians. Thank you very much indeed and congratulations again for winning that prize.